Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing exponents with negative fractional bases in Khan Academy. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into it so we can see what we're doing. The first problem says evaluate and it has negative five over two in parentheses and then to the power of two. An important thing here that a lot of people forget about is we have these parentheses first, okay? This is in parentheses. This is always like a problem on the SAT or ACT or on most tests for um, power chapters is that they'll try to confuse you by putting these parentheses here. Now, if we have these parentheses, that means we're gonna take negative five over two and we're gonna multiply it by itself twice. So we're gonna multiply negative five over two times negative five over two. The reason why I'm writing this explicitly is because another way they'll do this problem is they'll have it like this. Or they may even write it like this. And not really super good looking. Or the, let's, let me get rid of this. Usually they'll, with a fraction they'll put parentheses, but they might put a whole number like this. Now, if you have something like this, obviously you're gonna square it first and then apply the negative at the end. So you could have a negative answer even though you're squaring something. And it's the same thing here. In this second example, you're gonna square this first by order of operations, and then you're gonna apply the negative. So this answer would actually be negative 25, whereas this is positive 25 because you have a negative five times a negative five. This one, you have a five times a five, and you're just applying the negative at the end. So uh, key distinction there. But let's get back to the original problem. The original problem was here and here. So like we said earlier, we have a negative five over two times negative five over two. Another way to uh, consider this is we just do negative five squared over negative two squared. And again, those are in parentheses, otherwise that will be incorrect. So we're gonna have 25 over four, same thing, 25 over four. Negative times negative equals a positive, which is why it's 25 over four. So let's go ahead and put that as our fraction, 25, four, check it. All right, next question. Now we have three and one third squared. So we have to do the same thing here. We're gonna put the parentheses and multiply the same thing by itself, okay? But the difference is we have a mixed number here. So we're definitely gonna to want to convert this into an improper fraction. Let's go ahead and show how to do that. Okay, anytime you have an, a mixed number, you wanna change it to an improper fraction, what you're gonna to wanna to do is multiply the denominator by the integer in front, and then you're gonna add the numerator, okay? So we're gonna multiply three times uh, three. We're gonna ignore the negative for now. We don't really matter. It doesn't really matter if it's negative. We're gonna apply the negative at the end. If it's a negative mixed number, it's gonna be negative improper fraction. So we do three times three, that gives us nine. And then we do plus one, and that's gonna be over our original, which was three, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We have to keep the negative at the end. And then of course, we are going to square it. Okay. So what does that become in the parentheses? It's gonna be uh, positive nine, okay, plus one, that's 10 over three, and we're making it negative. Don't think of it as a negative nine, okay? I just remember the negative goes out in front. And then we're squaring this. Now we just need to square uh, a negative 10 and a positive three. That gives us 100 over nine, so that should be our answer. Oops, always put the fraction first, 100 over nine, check it, next question. Doing well here, okay, we have negative uh, three over two to the fourth power, okay. We have a fourth power here, and because anytime you have uh, a negative number and you raise it to an even power, it's gonna be positive number, okay? So we know this is gonna be positive, just like when we squared it, it was positive. So we have negative three times negative three times negative three times negative three in the top, and then we have two times two times two times two in the bottom, which is negative three to the fourth and two to the fourth. Okay, you can apply it to the top and to the bottom. Instead of taking a negative 1.5, which you can also do, you can do this too, and you're gonna get the same thing. Okay, but you'll have it in decimal form rather than fraction form. I think it's best just to keep it in fraction form. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, negative three times three is negative 27. We're gonna times it by three again. We're gonna get 81. And then two times two times two is eight, times two is 16. So 81 over 16 is gonna be our answer. 81 over 16. 
Hope it gives us a, nope, it's not going to. <laughs> All right, so we have here, same case, we have three, three. We're gonna multiply the denominators, nine, and we're gonna add that numerator, two, and we're gonna keep that over the original denominator. We're gonna keep that negative sign up in front. We're gonna apply that at the end, and then we're going to square it. Okay, because it's a negative number and we're going to square it, we know it's going to end up being positive. Just like, um, this is just something I'm keeping in the back of my head. 9 plus 2, we know that's 11 over 3. It's going to be negative, and we're going to square it. So we're going to square the negative 11, that's 121. We're just going to square the 3, and that's 9. 121 over 9, it's going to be positive. And we're done. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you need more help on any certain uh, math concept, let me know in a comment and I'll be happy to oblige your question. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.